I have searched the MLS and I have found a pretty nice bird deal and a fully occupied duplex in a solid neighborhood in Cleveland. Sean and Hikung, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Sean and Hikong, welcome to your video. Uh, you guys are a husband and a wife team. You used to live in Honolulu and you moved over to Tacoma, Washington. Right now, you guys have tasked me um, with finding you properties here in Cleveland off of the MLS. So the video you purchased uh, was an MLS search, analysis, and video tour. So I actually sent my team into both of these properties that I found for you. Now, going over your goals and what you guys are trying to accomplish, um, you know, we spoke via email several times. Uh, essentially right now you're doing a cash out refinance and you're going to come up with as much as $130,000 cash. And that's, that's very important for what I have found you guys. Now, uh, you had said in a later email that you have some student loans. Um, you plan on paying off roughly uh, $28,000 in those student loans. Now, depending on how things go, you may not end up with that full 130000 You had mentioned that perhaps you're considering cashing out for slightly less, or when you do cash out, you're thinking about using some of those funds to pay off some student loans. So you might possibly end up with as low as $55,000 to invest in. So we got a range here, right? We got between $55,000 and $130,000. So I have identified two properties that I think are gonna work pretty well for you two. One is gonna be on the low end of money you need and the other is gonna be on the high end of money you need. Uh, both of these deals, uh, you know, they're totally different but I think they're safe and I think they'll both work for you pretty well. You guys had said to me in your email that you are interested in A, B, and C neighborhoods. You're open to considering D, um, but it doesn't look like that is necessarily uh, in your comfort zone. Um, so the two properties I identified for you, one is in a B, and honestly, it's kind of like a high B property. The other one is a very, very high C, possibly low B property. So both of those are pretty good. You've also got some interest in the Burr method. For those of you watching this video, besides you two, Burr is buy renovate i almost said rent buy renovate rent refinance and repeat so if you end up with like a small uh you know nest egg of money it's a, a way for you to stretch that money pretty far you know you get in you buy a property that's got some issues okay and then you can get a large portion of that money back so that's a strategy you guys are interested in but ultimately you guys are looking for financial freedom right uh sean you said that uh you are a psychologist, okay, and you guys have an annual income of $73,000 a year. So you're looking to put your money to work so you guys can attain some financial freedom. Your method of replacing, you know, some of that income from your day job, right, is to get a minimum of $150 a month in cash flow per unit after all your expenses. Now, one last thing before we get into the properties. Uh, like I said, you guys are interested in Burr, but it does appear that you guys are a little nervous on the Burr plan, the Burr process, right? Because you've never done it before. You know, you've read some books on estimating uh, renovation costs and things of that nature, but, you know, you've never actually done a Burr deal. So, uh, you know, you're a little apprehensive about that strategy. So, like I said, one of them is a Burr deal, and that's going to require more cash. The other one is a fully occupied property. So we're going to get into the fully occupied property right now. 
and that property is 4416 Gamma, Newburg Heights 44105. So up on the screen, we got all the photos right here, you know, outside of the house, living room, yada, 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 basement, furnace. But the cool thing about what you guys did is you did not get the entry level package. The entry level desktop analysis package would be us just going through the photos. Instead, you guys actually purchased a full video tour. So I sent my team in and we have footage. And just so you guys are aware, it was not easy to get my team in there. Um, on the MLS, we have like a, there's a company, it's like a third party company that some realtors uh, can hire and they coordinate your showings with your tenants for you or with the owners or even if it's vacant they'll issue lockbox codes to other agents because I am not the uh, agent on this property I'm not the listing agent I don't have anything to do with this property this property was listed by a realtor at another company called local real estate so uh, we, we you know we're just technically like a buyer agent or you know just like a real estate consultant to you in this deal so we had to go through that third party company to actually schedule my film crew to get in there. And as you can see, uh, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 potential showing times were denied. We, we attempted to show this, uh, get our guys in there 14 times, 13 no's and one yes. But we finally did get in there and here is the footage for you. Let me pull this on the screen, make it a little bigger. Oops, there we go. Here is the footage for you guys. So it's this one right here. You know, this is a solid classic duplex. This thing, it was built in 1928, okay? And the price here, it's $59,900, $59,900. That is incredibly key because that is a very, very low price. Typically duplexes like this, I am selling for between seventy-five and a hundred thousand dollars all day, depending on what the rents are. Now, this neighborhood—you see the drone footage of the neighborhood. This is very, very important when you look in the Cleveland market. It is the four-four-one zero five zip code, but it is in what's called the Village of Newburg Heights. Let me pause this real quick. Uh, in the village of Newburg Heights, okay, it's a very, very small village. I think there's like 14, 15 streets total. And they have their own government, their own police force, right? That little village, that's a good place for real estate investing. Uh, that's a solid neighborhood. The city's got a very strict POS. That's point of sale. We're going to get into that later. And, uh, you know, they got a ton of cops for this small little 14, 15 street uh, village, okay? So even though it shares the 44105 zip code with the city of Cleveland, this little neighborhood is totally different than Cleveland. So I rank this as like a high C, low B neighborhood because it's in Newburgh Heights. But don't get confused. Even though it's got the 44105 zip code, if you found a similar property in Cleveland with the same zip code, but it was Cleveland itself, I would not rank the neighborhood as nice as this one. As soon as you leave these 14, 15 streets, it gets pretty rough. So it's like a nice little insulated community. Uh, so keep that in mind. Be very weary of Cleveland 44105, but Newburgh Heights 44105, all systems a go. Let's get back to the tour here. Yeah, so just, you know, I had my crew. We went in here. Uh, you know, they're cruising around. The unit itself already looks pretty nice. I mean, we already got the gray theme. That's what we put into our units, right? We got gray walls, white trim. Nothing wrong with this kitchen. Everything looks pretty solid in this kitchen. You know, this is this is a pretty darn nice kitchen here. Uh, you know, obviously they got kids here, so you know, at turnover or something like that, you're gonna have to repaint some stuff. We got a bunch of different colors, but all in all, just you know, pretty standard stuff for a rental unit. At a turnover, I would like to see this bathroom get updated. I saw some like spackle on uh, on the the wall there. That's not great. And then cruising down to the basement here, you got the two furnaces. Everything is working. But just so you guys know, those are a little bit older furnaces. I would say they're probably 20 years old. That looks to be a lot newer hot water tank than that. I'd say one's probably five. Maybe the other one's about 10. And then we got your electric panels right here, which these are outdated. I'm not saying you have to do anything to these right now, today. So we're going to have to address uh, the electric panels. Uh, but I said it earlier, this house requires a point of sale. 
And uh, when I go over the point of sale, I'm ar I've already accounted for that, um, upgrading these, because we're going to have to take care of that. So with everything you've seen there, right, the purchase price is $59,900. As far as the rents go, and the rents, they are low, okay? They're low. Currently, right now, we got each unit, just so you know, it's two beds, one bath. Uh, one of the units is rented for $550, the other is rented for $550. So we're bringing in a total of $1,100 a month, which is $13,200 a year. Obviously, just so you know, you saw one unit. We were only able to get into the one unit, and it took 14 tries to get into that unit. So actually getting into the other unit, unfortunately, it's just not possible. Uh, that is probably why I am so much uh, more successful in selling these rental properties than anyone else in the Cleveland market. Uh, because a lot of realtors rely on actually showing the property to investors, whereas we don't do that here at Holton Wise. We get in one-time video what we can, and then we sell to investors as pure investment vehicles. Like when you're looking at it, and it takes 14 times to get into a unit, uh, you know, that's just maddening, right? So, you know, you guys are not the only people watching this video. You guys are the only ones watching this video right now. But after these deals are both gone, you know, probably maybe 60 days after you guys have seen this video, I release these videos publicly so everyone else can see them. So for everyone else who's watching this video right now, you know, if you're like wanting to invest in real estate in new markets, you should learn the market, cruise around the area, but don't think that you could just like fly in from California to Cleveland and have like a realtor drive you and like show you like 15 occupied rental properties. That's probably not going to happen, guys. Uh, we can't really just like disturb these tenants and they make it very, very hard. So the idea is for you to more or less get a feel for the neighborhood, maybe tour some vacant properties, get some video footage of vacant properties, uh, get a feel for the neighborhoods. And then when you do see an occupied rental property like us here at Holton Wise, we'll send you a whole video of it. But if you're trying to buy from other folks, you know, you're probably going to want to go off of the pictures and then the third party home inspection, just your knowledge of the neighborhood. Like the actual, like, I just get a lot of folks that they think it's like buying the house they live in where they got to like be in the house and like feel the rooms, man. It's, it's not like that. You don't need to feel the rooms. Uh, you definitely want to get yourself information. You don't want to buy something like sight unseen or without a third party inspection, but just I'm trying to set you guys up so you understand that like if you think you could just uh, get a list of like 10, 15 rental properties that are all occupied and you could just tour them whenever you come into town, you're going to run into a some serious resistance from the tenants, other realtors in the area. Uh, so again, that's why we do things the way we do. Like when sellers sell properties through Holton Wise, we get hired so much because our buyer base and our infrastructure is nationwide. Everyone's watching this show amongst our other shows. But on top of that, we're one of the only people, as a matter of fact, I think we are the only people in this market or most other turnkey markets that are able to sell these properties without doing any showings. We do not do any showings of occupied properties. So if anyone's watching this and you see one of my videos uh, with properties and we have tenants in there and you're like, ah, oh, I want to buy that, uh, but I want to get inside of it, uh, that's not going to happen. Your bid's declined. All bids are going to need to be made contingent on a third-party inspection from a licensed home inspector. Now, at that time, we're not trying to keep you out of the properties. At that time, when you've shown that you're not just a looky-loo, you could very much so go with your home inspector and you could also appear in the home at the appraisal. So we don't want to keep you out of the houses. We'll let, we'll let you get in there, but we can't just be disturbing tenants whenever the hell we want. All my properties, I get like 20, 30 offers every time. So that would be impossible. Remember, 14 tries to get into this property, okay? 14 tries. And we only got into one of the units. So all that said though, back to... Back to the chart here, right? We're bringing in $1,100 a month, $13,200 a year. Now, going back over here, we are bringing in $13,200 a year, okay? And our purchase price is $59,900. You might be thinking, holy shit, that's the best deal in the world. And honestly, that really would be. Because like I said, depending on what the rents are, we're selling these for seventy five. dollars to 100,000 all the time. And just so you know, these rents, these are actually like lower than they need to be. We could be getting $700 a month out of these units like all day, totally easy. Uh, you probably just slowly increase these tenants' rents because 550 is not market. So I broke down all the numbers based on the existing rents. 
Uh, but there is like a ton of cash flow after that. Like I broke it all down at 1100 a month, but realistically, and I'll go through the cash on cash and the cap and like what you're going to make every month and your mortgage payments and all that jazz. But realistically, you could tack an extra $300 a month in pure profit on top of that. But first things first, right? How do we like actually acquire this rental income stream? The purchase price, $59,900, but that's, that's too good of a deal. It's not that clean. Said it a couple times. This Newburg Heights, they have what's called a point of sale. That means anytime a seller wants to sell a property in the village in Newburg Heights, now remember, it's not Cleveland. It's not Cleveland 44105. There is no point of sale in Cleveland, but in Newburg there is. So anytime a seller wants to sell a property in Newburg, they have to order a point of sale inspection. And in Newburgh, they go inside, they go outside, and they just cite every and anything. It's incredibly strict. It's really ticky-tacky. Uh, it's, it's a double-edged sword. It's good uh, for you when you're buying because it keeps prices down a little bit, I think. Um, and it keeps, like, owner-occupied folks away because not a lot of people have the cash uh, to purchase it and also pay for the repairs because um, sometimes sellers can't pay for them. So it really opens the space up to investors to get some good deals. Um, and it maintains the neighborhood, but on the flip side, when you're going to sell it, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Now, this particular seller, you have to assume the POS. They're not doing any repairs. So, price $59,900. I've got the POS on the screen for you here. It is a <coughs> fairly long, large document. This is just going over their POS stuff. And then more or less, it just shows you all the things they look at. Building numbering, lawn landscaping, driveways, garbage, weeds, trimming, uh, paint color, sidewalks, gutters, fence maintenance, storage sheds, gazebos, swimming pools. So like it's very, very tic tac. They literally go through every and anything on the property. Now some of the items failed, uh, so seeing as the seller is not going to fix them, you as the buyer, you have to assume this violation list and you have to get this fixed in a certain amount of time. So the city is going to make you fix all this stuff. And if you don't in a certain amount of time, they're going to find you. The biggest things I got from this were the driveway, right? They cited the driveway. That's going to cost you about five grand. They cited a little bit of stuff with the fence in the yard. So you probably just tear that fence down, clean up the yard. You're looking at 500. They cited the roof, okay? There's already missing shingles on the roof. I don't know how old the roof was from the drone footage earlier. It didn't look like it was that new. So I just worst case scenarioed it for you. Uh, and this could be a little high, but I just said, dude, you'll just replace the roof, right? So I tacked another 5K there. Uh, in one of the units, they wanted you to replace the flooring in the kitchen. So that's $1,000. There's a few issues with the siding. That's another 1,000 I factored in. And then just other various minor little tic-tac things that this thing failed. Uh, I just added another thousand. And then we had some older paneling and stuff uh, with the electrical paneling. So I tacked on like another thousand um, for the electrical panels. Once the electricians actually get in there, that may be a little bit higher. Not much, but I kind of overestimated in my opinion on uh, the drive and the roof because the drive it looked like it was just the top of the apron and you may not have to do the total roof so all in all i think you're going to be spending roughly thirteen thousand five hundred you might spend a little more on electrical you might spend a little less on the roof and the drive uh, we'd have to actually get the maintenance uh, team in there to actually bid it all out but more or less i believe thirteen five is a pretty fair estimate for what you're gonna be spending. Could be slightly higher, could be slightly less, but that's a good number. So you buy it for 59.9, you put 13,500 into it to clear off this POS because you're gonna be mandated by the village of Newburgh Heights to do so. So that means we're gonna be totally invested $73,400. So for the total investment of 73,400 bucks, you're going to be able to bring in $13,200 a year in rent. That doesn't mean that you're going to be putting that in your pocket, though, okay? Now, on, on the screen here, I got a nice chart for you. I broke down all the expenses. So you got your repair, your vacancy, your capital expenditures. I estimated roughly 5% of your rents, so $55 a month. I gave you your taxes. That's going to be $173 a month. Insurance, $80 water and sewer in cleveland you gotta pay for water and sewer for all the tenants there's no ands ifs or buts about it if you actually go to holtonwise.com and you go to my fac 
you go to the property management fact I've addressed exactly why this is it's a big old long story it has to do with the way the Ohio Revised Code is written as well as how the Cleveland Division of Water which supplies water to pretty much all the rental properties you guys would be buying in the Cleveland market uh, the way that their policies are in conjunction with the Ohio Revised Code uh, the moral of the story is you got to pay water sewer, dude. No other way about it. Uh, for more info on that, check out what I wrote on the FAC. Lawn care, we cut grass about 16 times a year here, right? We have pretty harsh winters, so we're not cutting it every month. But it'll average out to 44 a month. And then PM, you're going to be spending about 110 a month. So you're bringing in 1100 a month or 13200 a year, but you're going to be spending on average remember these are averages some months are gonna be better some are gonna be worse some years are gonna be better some are gonna be worse this is like the best way i could break it down for you on an average you know if you're the kind of person that needs like to the penny return estimates rental real estate is not for you man because there's an unlimited amount of variables at play but with all my experience running such a big portfolio thousands of tenants doing this I would say these are fair estimates. This is how your property should perform on average over the long haul. You're gonna be spending roughly $722 a month just to operate it. That's $8,664 a year. So your NOI, right? $378 a month or $4,536 a year. Now, your original cash flow goal after all expenses was $150 a month. This is going to be 378. So we've more than doubled that. And the best part is, okay, the best part is you can still get an additional $300 a month. So in all actuality, you could be making 678 a month um, if we got those rents up. But again, I just wanted to run it on your current rents. Now, this is the deal though that I don't want you spending all your money. I want to keep your money under that 50, you know, your cash, your cash out of pocket under that $55,000 mark. This isn't the bird deal, right? So you can do this thing two ways, right? Option one, you could buy it cash 59.9 and then pay for all the POS repairs 13,500. So you have 73,400 into the deal and then you could do your loan then and then you're only going to end up into the deal for 18,350 way below your 55,000 so you're just going to have to use that money very very temporarily or if perhaps you've already paid down some of your other debt uh, you don't even and you don't have more than 55k on hand at the moment you could because it's still in livable condition you could go in and just get a mortgage right you could just buy it for the 59.9 get a mortgage for three-fourths of that and then just pay for the uh, repairs the pos repairs out of your pocket so you'll never need more than the 55k uh, to actually make the deal happen but the better way to do it is to use all of your money quickly all at once and then quickly pull it all back out because after you say you bought a cash you did it at 59.9 then you put the 13,500 into it so you're all into the deal for 73,000 400 so when you get it to appraise for that price you know you're all in cost of 73,400 the bank is going to go ahead and give you back $55,050 so that means your total out of pocket on this deal is only going to be 18,350 so if we factor uh, a mortgage payment after the fact right so without this being a cash deal with you only having 18,350 bucks in the deal you're going to get a monthly mortgage of 278.93 or 3347.16 a year so you can get your money back have a very small amount of money and you're still going to cash flow after paying your expenses after paying your mortgage you're still going to cash flow 9907 a month or 1188.84 a year and that's with the current rent okay the current rent which is about 300 bucks a month lower so worst worst case scenario on average you're pocketing roughly a hundred but now in actuality you could really be pocketing close to 400 and when it was all said and done you used a lot less than your 55,000 so that's why I think this is a very solid deal for you two fully occupied you can burr it but you don't have to burr it so if you don't have more than 55k right now you could just go ahead and buy the thing at 59.9. So your mortgage would be da 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 da. Let's see, 
you would need to put 14,975 down and then you're going to have to pay for your uh, POS repairs of 13,5 cash. So that's going to require you to be $28,475 into the deal. So if you want to do it that way, you can, but you're roughly 10k into the, you know, you got 10k into the deal more than if you did the burr. Uh, so I personally do the burr. You're going to get a higher cash on cash return. But either way will work, and either way, when it's all said and done, you're way less than that 55,000. We're going to go to a quick word from our sponsor of today's show, and then we're going to get into the second property for you, which really only works as a burr. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. All right, guys, welcome back. Now let's do the second property. This one, 5909 West Ridgewood Drive, Parma 44129. I've got the footage for you guys here. Now, as you can see, this is listed by uh, Century 21, and this is like totally different than uh, what you would normally see. This is very huge. This is uh, a very, very nice neighborhood, right? This is one of the nicer areas of Parma. The lot itself is actually um an acre and it's all covered in woods actually across the street you got a little raccoon action there when you're living on uh, near the woods that's what you're going to get uh, but across the street there's actually a golf course so this is like an incredibly high end neighborhood an incredibly high end property now it is priced currently right now at eighty four thousand nine hundred that's because this one's going to need some serious work right so this is going to require like a high end of your cash, okay? So you have to be able to get access to that full hundred thirty thousand dollars to pull this one off, right? You know, you'll be able to burr it back out, okay? So you won't have to keep it in there forever, but you're gonna to have to keep a decent chunk of it in there, and you know, you are gonna need that. So if you really only have fifty five k available to you, even in a short period, you'd have to do some stretching to do this deal. Uh, but I think it's gonna be a very very good deal. Let's go back to the footage. I mean, if you just see like this neighborhood though, it's just so nice. Going into the house here, none of this is gonna work for anything to make this property make any sense. We've gotta do everything. Like this kitchen, it's gotta go. The flooring, it's gotta go. The paint, we gotta repaint the entire thing. Like we have to do every and anything to this property to make it look good. So what I anticipate us having to do, we're gonna have to, paint all the walls, do all the floors, replace the kitchen, replace the baths. We may or may not need to do the windows, the roof, some electrical. So I have put you at stuff I know we're going to have to do, 30K, and then another $10,000 of stuff I'm not 100% sure. Like I don't know what all we're going to need to do to the electrical or if we're going to have to do the roof, but depending on what's going on, like this is like an old property, we're gonna be spending around $10,000 in other miscellaneous stuff outside of the very obvious cosmetic stuff of the kitchen, the baths, the floors, the paint. So pencil in a total renovation of $40,000 to get this thing ready to go. But it's all gonna be worth it, trust me. So if you buy it, 84.9, you put 40K into it, you're gonna be all into the total investment for 124,900. Now, by spending 124,900, what exactly are you gonna get? Well, you're gonna get a rental property that's super high end and you could bring in 1,200 bucks a month in rent or 14,400 a year and that's to one tenant right this is a single family home it's three beds two baths so you're going to get a very high-end tenant 
like I said, an acre of land, we're across the street from a golf course. This is like incredibly high end. You're still gonna have costs, of course, but the cool thing is looking at the chart, your repairs and your vacancies, I have cut that in half of my estimate from what I did for the property uh, in Newburgh Heights because you're just getting a higher quality tenant here. Folks in uh, properties like this are typically gonna stay a lot longer, so you're gonna have to deal with less vacancy. Repairs is where a lot, you know, turnovers is where a lot of your repairs and stuff like that happen, or tenants being hard on the property. So the moral of the story is you can estimate you're gonna spend a little bit less operating those two factors at a property like this. Capital expenditures, roughly the same, right? Because roofs are still gonna last 30 years. Furnaces are still gonna last 30, 40 years. You're still gonna need to replace hot water tanks every 10, 15 years. So I still factored that in about the same. So I penciled in 30, 30, 60. Taxes are a little higher. You're looking at 320 a month. Insurance, 80. You only got one family living here, so you're only gonna have to spend about 75 on that water and sewer. Lawn care, it's a single family home, so the tenants, they're gonna take care of that. So you don't have to do any lawn care. Yeah, when the property's vacant every now and again, you're gonna have to pay Holt and Wise to go out there and cut the grass. But while you have a tenant in there, unlike your multifamilies, you don't have to worry about doing any lawn care. And then the PM, here's where you save a little bit of money by going high end. The PM, we cap our monthly PM fees for you know individual units at 100 bucks. So even though you're bringing in $1,200 a month in rent, we only charge you 100, so that's less than 10%. So you're going to be bringing in 1,200, and you're going to be spending 695. That's going to leave you with an NOI of 505 a month, or 6,060 a year. And remember, these are estimates. Could go up, could go down, but that is a fair estimate. Now, if you have that 130k, this is where things get really cool. The property, when you do all of that, it's going to be worth more than you're into it. So you have 130K at your disposal, hopefully. If you spend 124.9, 84.9 to acquire it, 40,000 to get it, looking exactly how I've just described, we've now got a tenant in there giving you 1,200 bucks a month. After you pay for everything, you're making about 500 bucks a month. This is the best part of this deal, though. It's worth more than $125,000. You're gonna get some equity here. Here are the comps. Now, very, very close, like right down the street, we got another one that sold for $140,000. Very close, we got one that sold for $148,500, $164,000, 175 and one seventy seven six. dollars These are all uh, in Parma, same zip code. Like I said, this is a very nice part uh, of the area, you know, high B-class stuff. Now conservatively, I would assume this should appraise for $140,000. It could realistically be higher, but I wanted to give you something very conservative. So I'm assuming that this will appraise for $140,000. So now you get to get your cash back out. If it appraised for $140,000, technically you can get $105,000 back out of the deal which means you're only into the deal uh, for about 20K. But when you run the numbers, you're not gonna cash flow after paying down that mortgage. You would be cash flow negative. So yeah, you can get all your money back out, but you're cash flow negative. So what I think the smartest move to do would be to pull 90 grand back out. So you put 125 in, you pull 90 back out, you got equity still, right? The property's still worth more than that 125. It's probably worth 140 at minimum. But you only pulled 90 back out. You left that extra 15 they could have gave you. You left it in the deal. So now into the deal, you're under your 55,000. You only got 35K in the deal long term, okay? $90,000 came back to you. You got a mortgage payment of 456.02. So our NOI was 505 on average. Mortgage payment 45602. That means after you're paying back your mortgage payments, you're still put in your pocket 4898 a month or 58776 a year. And what's nice here is you've got yourself an incredibly high-end property. So it's not really about making a ton of cash flow on these properties. It's keeping our amount of cash deployed to a minimum, letting those tenants pay off a ton of that mortgage with little to no headaches. 
We have equity in this deal. So when it comes time to sell, you're gonna do very, very well. And you know, the nicer neighborhoods, the nicer the neighborhoods are, the better the chance it appreciates. And again, I said that was 140,000 on the low end. You know, if we look up to the top three here, we got one at 177.6, one at 175, and one at 164. And remember, I want you to do a $40,000 renovation on this thing. So this thing is gonna look beautiful. So odds are good it could appraise or possibly sell for higher than that 140, but I wanna provide you guys with incredibly uh, conservative estimates, right? Because every number that I've given you guys, these are all estimates. There's like no rental property or any property that's gonna hit all of these numbers like right on the dot. They're definitely not gonna hit them right on the dot every single month. These, is, th these are just like the kind of numbers you can an anticipate your property's doing over the long haul, right? Like I run a $50 million portfolio uh, and you know, there's A class, B class, C class, D class. And you know, looking at the portfolio as a whole, these are like reasonable expectations of what everything should average out to, but by no means is it gonna be on the dot every single month. You know, things are gonna be different. There are gonna be variables. So that's very important. Um, I think either of these properties should work for you guys, right? You had close to 130K total possibly at your disposal, but the idea is to keep it as low as 55. When the dust settles, you're, you, know, you have less than 55,000 deployed into both of these properties, but the one property will require you to have close to that 130K at least for a very, very short time. So both of these I think will work for you guys just fine. I hope I have answered all of your questions. Uh, one thing before I get out of here, though, if you guys are wondering how I got the exact mortgage numbers, if you go to HoltonWise.com, you can go to our mortgage calculator, right? You can click the uh, tools and resources and it'll take you to our mortgage calculator. And you could pump in, punch in rather, any of the numbers you want, and it's going to break down your principal and interest, your whole amortization schedule. So you guys could go ahead and run these numbers yourselves on any other properties you're looking at. Uh, so that's the last thing I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to do a deal on one or both of these, you can either have my team write up the offer for you. We will act as your buyer's agent. Or if you want, you can go directly to those listing agents. No harm, no foul. Um, sometimes going to the listing agents helps you get a better deal because when you go directly to the listing agent, you represent a double paycheck for them, right? If I write an offer on your behalf, the seller has agreed to pay a total commission of X. The listing agent puts it on the MLS and offers some of that X to buyer agents like myself. It could be half, it could be less than half, but let's just say it's half. So say the listing agent has it listed for 7%. If I come in and uh, submit an offer for you, that listing agent's check went from 7% down to 3.5%. If you went to the listing agent directly, you represent a 7% paycheck for them. So if you're worried, you know, you're putting in offers on properties and there's competitive offers, right? Who do you think is going to have a better shot at getting the deal? The people that put in the offer where the person who's fielding those offers gets paid more or the, you know, the people who put in the offer where they get paid less, right? Asian agents, they got a fiduciary responsibility to submit all offers to those sellers, right? But that doesn't mean the agent doesn't have say or sway with their seller. Say your offer came in with three other offers and they're all exactly the same, right? We got four identical offers, but three of them are all the separate buyer agents. When that agent presents all four of them to his seller, which one do you think he's gonna say, hey, Mr. Seller, these are the best buyers. These people are solid. I've talked to these people personally. You know, he's saying all this because you know, he's getting paid more money, of course, right? And he does have a rapport with you. Uh, so keep that in mind, but you can do it either way, right? A lot of folks, they still want to have me represent them so I can like really walk them through the process and make sure they don't uh, make any mistakes. The listing agent, you know, may or may not do that because most realtors out here, you know, they don't really understand what you guys as investors are trying to do. They consider these, you know, these homes places to live, whereas what we do, right, investors, we look at them as investment vehicles. So either way you wanna do it, and for everyone else who's watching this video, you can get your own analysis. You just go over to holtonwise.com, click on the property search 
button. Oh, that's the property search for rent button. This is where all of our tenants go to, you know, find properties. This is where we advertise them. But you go to the property search for sale button. You can click the start here button. That's going to subscribe you to my daily mailing list. I send out properties every day at 1 p.m. So if you don't want to pay for an analysis from properties that are on the market, you could just buy the properties that I'm selling. I'm the number one seller in the Cleveland market. So you get those. But uh, I think I mentioned earlier, a lot of my properties, they get 20, 30 offers. So they go very, very quick. Usually same day I send them out. We got like 5,000 realtors out here in Cleveland. So if you're looking for more inventory, you want to do this. Cruise on down here. You could purchase any of the analysis products. Uh, we have an entry level product, which is just me analyzing it from this desk. Okay, that's much cheaper uh, than what you saw today. My man, Sean, he got the top level package where we found him properties, compared the properties together, and sent my film crew inside the property. So of course, that's the most expensive because it's the most legwork for us. But either way, you can purchase any of those or just continue watching uh, the content when other people purchase them so you can learn and maybe do a little bit of research on your own. Uh, so if you'd like the opportunity to continue watching this and learning for free, at least do me a solid and smash that subscribe, like, and share button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, holding wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.